So the basic concept we'll be following is that in the rectangular form we uh, write it in A plus J B form and in polar form we write it as a magnitude and angle theta. Magnitude is R, angle and theta and it is also written as in this form that is magnitude R and E raised to the power J theta. Now how to find R? This is the formula. R is under root a square plus b square and theta is 10, 10 inverse b over a. So this is the question that we will be solving. It says express each of the following complex numbers in polar form that is in this form r e raised to the power j theta form and the angle has to be between minus pi and plus pi greater than minus pi and less than equal to pi. Okay, so these are the values that we'll be solving. And as we discussed, we'll calculate r and theta by using this formula. And the basic concept of the um, polar and the uh, rectangular form is that this represents the real axis A, this representing imaginary axis JB, and this is r that is in the magnitude of the polar form and angle of the polar form a is also written as r cos theta and b is also written as r sin theta okay so uh, this is what we are going to solve so we start with writing it in the form of a plus j b so 5 plus j 0 we write And then using this formula, we calculate the magnitude r, which is 5. And then we calculate the angle uh, phi or theta. So it is tangent inverse b over a. b is 0 in our case and a is 5. So 0 over 5, so 0 degrees. And final answer, we'll write in it in radians. Now a word of caution here. It is better to keep your calculator in degree mode and then convert the degree into radian mode. So you can calculate up to this point directly from the calculator if your calculator is in degree mode and then you convert it into radian mode. So our final answer then will be 5 is equal to R e j theta. R we have found to be 5 and theta we found to be uh, 0. So E, J, uh, 0, this is the answer. Now, sometimes it is better that we do a mental calculation, we verify, and we can use this diagram. So you can see uh, real axis is 5, so this is the real axis, and imaginary axis is 0, so there is no imaginary axis. So the line will be something like this, and in this case you can clearly see that the angle will be zero. Next is minus two. Again, we follow same technique. We write it in this form. So minus two plus j theta. Calculate r and calculate uh, tan theta, which is also zero. In this case, but this is incorrect if you do it with a calculator you get zero degree angle but this is incorrect and th this is where the mental math comes into play that when you plot minus two you can see this is the uh, graph so in the real axis it will be in the negative side so in the negative side means it the angle is not zero it is 180 from here it is 180 degree so, and in the calculator, whether tangent inverse 0 uh, you write or tangent inverse uh, 180 you write, you get the answer 0. Okay, so instead of this, then we'll write that phi is tangent inverse 0 by 2, which is equal to 180 degree and which is equal to pi radians. So, do this, try this with your calculator. 10, 180 is also 0, 
and then zero is also zero. And so our final answer will be minus two e raised to the power two e j phi, put in the value of phi, we get the answer. Next is the third question, minus three j. And here also you can straight away calculate mentally that where will be three j, minus three j will be in the negative direction. So this will be the angle which is minus pi by two, okay. We follow the same technique. So we write it now as zero minus three j because this is this has j terms, so that means this is the ima imaginary part. So that is why we'll write it underneath the imaginary part, and the real part will be zero. And we follow exactly same technique to calculate r and to calculate theta. Now here is a problem. If you input this in the calculator, you know something divided by zero is infinity, so the calculator will give you an error. So ma mathematical error. So to fool the calculator, what we'll do is we'll replace this zero with a very small quantity. So we use let's say 0 0.000 instead of zero, and then we'll get the answer. So minus three divided by 0 0.0001 gives us an angle of minus 89.99, which we can safely write to be equal to minus pi by two, approximately equal to minus pi by two. And so our answer now will be minus three j is three e raised to the power j phi, three e raised to the power minus j, and this angle uh, pi by two. But this was the third question. Okay, the next question is this one from here. And uh, just uh, we use this formula, so keep in mind, we write now this as in A plus JB form. A plus, so this is our A and this is B, minus B actually. So putting in the formula value of A and value of b from here, that is minus under root three over two square. And this, when you solve, you'll find the answer to be one. Then find the angle, tangent minus b over a. Dividing this and solving with the help of a calculator, you get minus 60 degree, which converted into radians will be minus pi by three. So our answer will be this is equal to magnitude one e raised to the power j phi, which is equal to e raised to the power minus j pi by three. Next question is similar one plus j. It is already in the form of a plus b, so we'll just put in the values. Get two. Putting in our calculating theta, we get pi by four radians and therefore 1j is equal to the magnitude under root 2 e raised to the power j phi, which is pi by 4, so this is the final answer. So the next question is 1 minus j square. First of all, we'll solve for 1 minus j, and then we'll um, solve for the square. So 1 minus j, we can find from this formula the magnitude of r, which is under root 2. Just plug in the values of 1 and minus 1. And also theta, we can calculate it to be minus 45 degree, which is minus pi by 4 radius. And therefore, 1 minus j will become r and e raised to the power j phi. So r is under root 2 e raised to the power minus j pi by 4. Now we come to the uh, second part of it. We take a square of the answer. So square of this one and so under root 2, under root 2 will become 2 and these will be multiple, multiplying. And you know when we multiply, uh, uh, then the power will be added. Exponential multiplication, powers are added. So when we add this power, it will be minus j pi by 2 instead of pi by 4. And then next question, j, uh, 1 minus j, we can solve it in two ways. The first method will be that we just multiply this simply. 
So when we multiply, it will be j and this will be minus j square and we know minus j square is equal to minus 1. So minus 1 minus 1 plus, so it will be j plus 1 or 1 plus j. So we already calculated 1 plus j from this and you can look back. The final answer was under root 2 e raised to the power j pi by 4. So this is one way. The other way is that we solve it separately. We know j, if you look at this axis, this is j. So the angle is pi by uh, 90 degree or pi by 2. So we can write it j is equal to e raised to the power j pi by 2. And 1 minus j we had already calculated. 1 minus j we had found this answer. So just multiplying the two we can get the answer. So multiplying the two this will be our final answer. Now careful this is pi by 2 we are, we are adding this to minus pi by 4. So the final result will be plus pi by 4. Next is this one, 1 plus j divided by 1 minus j. You can write it like this. We have found the value of 1 plus j. We have also calculated value of 1 minus j. So we'll simply plug in. This was 1 plus j. This is 1 minus j. Plugging in and solving, the final answer will be e raised to the power j pi by 2. And finally, this can also be written as this and the denominator numerator part we just take under root 2 common so 1 plus j so under root 2 and 1 plus j we had already found this value so plugging in this becomes the value of the numerator and the denominator we got to solve from here we just calculate the value of r which is 2 calculate the value of angle 30, 60 degrees that is pi by 3 so 1 plus j3 will be 2 e raised to the power j pi by 3 and now we can solve the uh, whole equation so dividing this putting in this value of the numerator and putting in the value of denominator so the final answer will be e raised to the power minus j pi by 12 if you solve this we get pi by 12 I hope this gives you an understanding how you can solve this type of a problem. Thank you.